I'm Daniel Finley, Senior Research Associate at the Institute for Transportation Research and Education at NC State University in Raleigh, North Carolina. I will present our findings on some recent research on the effects of license plate attributes on automatic license plate recognition. This research was conducted with my colleagues, including Chris Cunningham, Jeff Chang, Kyle Hovey, and Michael Corwin. Vehicle identification is the primary purpose of license plates. In North Carolina, the Division of Motor Vehicles has established the standard issue license plate as an embossed license plate, which contains three letters and four numbers using blue ink characters. From 2007 to 2009, red ink characters were used in place of the blue ink. There are also approximately 100 specialized license plates available to residents, including license plates with the standard issue background, which include collegiate plates and other specialty organizations, and full background plates are also available. Personalization is also an option on standard plates and on most specialized license plates. Automatic license plate recognition is a tool used to identify vehicles by their license plates. It is also known as automatic number plate recognition, automatic vehicle identification, car plate recognition, license plate recognition, and other similar terms. The tool can operate at speeds up to 160 miles per hour and can result in thousands of license plate checks per shift compared to the possible hundreds that might be possible by a police officer. Law enforcement officers are using this innovative technology with much success to identify vehicles of interest, such as stolen vehicle identification, revoked drivers, amber alerts, monitoring schools and campuses, to look for wanted felons, delinquent citations for revenue enforcement, crime scene intelligence surveillance, and to assist in drug enforcement. This tool is composed of two primary components, the camera system, which is shown in the top image, and the processing system, shown as the computer in the bottom image. The objective of this research was to determine the readability of North Carolina license plates with an ALPR system and to deploy the ALPR systems in a controlled environment, focusing on law enforcement applications. The effort used two ALPR systems, one from the City of Raleigh Police Department, which was developed by Federal Signal, PIPS, and also a Federal Signal PIPS Research and Development ALPR system. Now let's take a closer look at the operation of an ALPR system and a sample of the type of license plate that can create issues when trying to automatically read license plates. Shown is an image of the processing of a license plate, and let's take a closer look at the image that results. The top image shows the ALPR's prediction of the characters. The middle image shows the actual image that was captured with the ALPR and the actual license plate is shown on the bottom of the screen. This is a NASCAR style license plate with the letters D-I-X-N and stacked characters on the right edge of the plate that read J-R. We can see from this license plate that the ALPR incorrectly predicted the characters by mistaking the D for an O and predicting the J-R stacked characters as an A. This research was conducted on the North Carolina State Highway Patrol Training Facility near Raleigh. This location allowed the research team to conduct the experiment in a controlled environment. The experiment was also conducted during the nighttime, which eliminated most of the external light pollution, as well as impacts of the sun and shade that could have impacted the test during the daytime. This research involved the collection of 902 license plates, which were cataloged by their type, plate number, condition, and reflectivity, and they were also sorted for field testing. Six types of license plates were used during the study. The sample sizes of each type included 240 standard issue license plates with blue ink manufactured prior to 2007 and since 2009, 274 standard issue license plates with red ink characters which were manufactured between 2007 and 2009, 95 specialized license plates in the standard issue format which have special artwork on the left side of the plate and a stacked suffix, 47 specialized license plates in the standard issue format with special artwork on the left with no stack suffix. Six previous style specialty plates with the full background design. And 240 of the specialty license plate with the full background standard template format with the white box around the characters. The testing methodology included 36 runs of a vehicle equipped with the ALPR traveling at 25 miles per hour, which was located 9 feet laterally away from the license plates. The license plates were mounted on 30 separate license plate stations. 
25 of which were replaced during each run, and 5 of which remained constant for calibration purposes. The license plate stations were also placed 40 feet between each other and were mounted 24 inches above the ground. The experiment took approximately two hours, with five people changing license plates at five stations each. Two primary measures of effectiveness were used during the analysis of this research. The first one is the capture rate, which represents the ability to actually locate and identify a license plate as a license plate, and it's calculated as the number of license plates recognized as a license plate divided by the total number of license plates studied. The read rate represents the accuracy of the reading and processing of the characters on the license plate. The denominator is different than the denominator in the capture rate, as the denominator is only of the total number of license plates recognized as license plates, and the numerator is the number of license plates accurately read. These measures of effectiveness can be represented visually with the following graphic. There are three potential options for evaluating an ALPR system. The first one being no capture, where the license plate is not identified as a license plate and therefore would also not be read correctly. The second option would be for the license plate to be captured but not read correctly and would therefore be identified as capture only. And the final option would be the most promising, where the license plate is both captured and read, where the license plate is identified as a license plate and subsequently all characters are read correctly and accurately. The first set of results that I'd like to share with you are the overall results, comparing the ability of the PIPS Research and Development ALPR system and the Raleigh Police Department ALPR system to capture and read the 902 total license plates included in this study. As we look across the rows, we see the Raleigh Police Department data, where 293 license plates were both captured and read, which is our most promising result. 401 license plates were captured only, and 208 license plates were neither captured nor read correctly. The PIPS R&D data are contained in the columns, where 367 license plates were captured and read, 383 were captured only, and 152 were neither captured nor read. We can also look at how these plates were read in relation to each other. We see that 271 license plates were captured and read by both systems, 297 were captured only by both, and 123 were captured by neither system. Across the diagonal is where we would like to see the larger numbers, which is the case. And we also would like to see small numbers in the scenarios where we see the 15, where the PIPS R&D correctly captured and read 15 license plates, while the Raleigh Police Department ALPR did not capture nor read those. And similarly, six license plates were captured and read by the Raleigh Police Department ALPR that were neither captured nor read by the PIPS R&D ALPR system. For the purposes of simplifying the presentation, we will focus on the results from the Raleigh Police Department ALPR system. Listed on the left of each row are the six types of license plates covered earlier and also the syntax type for each plate. The two options are the standard syntax or the personalized syntax. The standard syntax for the standard issue as we covered earlier would be three letters and four numbers. Each of the specialty license plates have a standard syntax as well, which could be subsequently personalized by the resident acquiring the license plate desired. The number of license plates for each type and syntax type are listed, as well as the capture rate and read rate. The standard issue blue ink standard syntax had a capture rate of 96%, meaning that of the total 154 license plates, 148 were captured. And this license plate type also had a read rate of 96%, which is calculated by dividing the number of license plates captured by the number of license plates which were accurately read. The full data set is provided here, although you should use caution when trying to extrapolate any data from the license plate types which have small sample sizes. Stack characters are seen as a particular issue for ALPR systems, as we saw in our earlier example. Of the 341 stack characters on the total set of plates included in the research, the Raleigh ALPR system was able to capture 75% of those license plates and able to accurately read 60% of the captured plates. To test for repeatability of the ALPR systems, five calibration stations contained license plates which did not change throughout the 36 runs of testing. The five license plate types included three standard issue license plates with blue characters, one which had personalized syntax, and two plates with the standard syntax. 
One license plate in the standard issue specialized plate format with special artwork on the left and no stack suffix. And one specialty license plate with the full background design and a stacked character. Four of the calibration stations had consistent readings on all but one of the possible 288 readings. All 36 runs of the two standard syntax blue character plates and specialized plate in the standard issue format resulted in correct and consistent readings. The personalized standard issue blue character license plate resulted in an 8 instead of a B, which was incorrect but still consistent. This license plate also resulted in one inconsistency where the number string 15 was reported as IS. The specialty plate with full background design created much more difficulty in terms of repeat repeatability for both of the systems, where approximately two-thirds of the readings were consistent and one-third were inconsistent. The most common error for the systems was adding an extra three at the beginning of the license plate, which probably resulted from the artwork that was on the left side of the plate, and an error of not reporting the stack characters on the right side of the plate was also common. Logistic regression models were developed to model the probability of capture and reading standard issue license plates. Each of the terms in the two models are statistically significant. One model is presented for the capture rate and one for the read rate. Looking at some of the factors, we see the red ink variable, which represents the presence of red ink on the license plate, where blue ink would be inserted as zero and red ink as one. Due to the negative sign, red ink will result in a lower predicted capture and read rate. The contrast variable represents the contrast ratio of the license plate characters and the background of the license plate. This variable is positive, meaning that as the contrast increases, the likelihood of reading and capturing the license plate increases. The personalized variable represents the presence of personalized syntax, where the standard syntax would be input as zero and the personalized syntax would be input as one. Due to the negative sign, personalization will result in a lower predicted capture and read rate. A graphical representation more clearly shows the results of the regression equations. Shown in this graph are the capture rate probabilities for blue ink and red ink plate types, personalized and standard syntax. The highest performing license plate type is the blue ink standard syntax license plate, which improves as the contrast increases. The next highest performing is the blue ink personalized, and following those are the red ink standard syntax and the red ink personalized syntax. Each improves as the contrast increases, and they converge as the contrast reaches some of the higher levels of contrast. You will notice that at lower levels of contrast, the probability of capture differs significantly. Similar to the capture rate, the read rate regression equations can also be viewed graphically. The differences between plate types are even more pronounced when looking at the read rate, where the blue ink standard syntax significantly outperform the other license plate types at all levels of contrast, and the red ink personalized syntax significantly underperforms all other license plate types. In summary, the standard issue blue ink license plate provided the most readable license plate of those tested. Personalization of license plates resulted in a read rate approximately half the read rate of standard issue syntax. The red ink performed significantly worse than the blue ink, likely due to the differences in contrast between the background and the color of the characters. The specialty plates without the stack character were more easily captured in red, while the specialty license plates with the full background were generally captured, but there was significant difficulty in accurately reading those plates. The findings of this research can support decision making at license plate issuing agencies. Many of the incorrect matching combinations were matches between letters and numbers, supporting a need for standardized syntax in order to read the plates consistently. This research also found significant difficulty with accurately reading various specialty and personalized license plates. Therefore, readability should be our criteria for consideration when decisions are made regarding new license plate designs. The ink color, syntax type, and contrast have a significant impact on the readability of a license plate, as well as the presence of stack characters, the choice of background colors, and the consistent location of symbols for specialty license plates. This research project was the result of a legislative mandate, which included a strict timeline of results and findings. This study was funded by the North Carolina Department of Transportation, and many individuals were essential for the successful completion of the research in a relatively short time frame. Thank you for your interest in this research project. 